I added 1v1 multiplayer to my game Balloons Tower Defense, but you're the balloon, where one player places monkeys and the other one tries to get to the end of the track. In the end, I even got Tootie to play against me. Right. Let's make a monkey player in an isolated environment first. Look at this extremely sophisticated movement that I totally didn't just copy and paste from the Unity website. I added some cool walking animations, but in game development, you can't just make something nice without consequences. So now he goes flying when we turn the camera. I noticed the tail was kind of stiff, so I gave it a crappy animation to unstiffen it. Time to make tower placing. To do this, we pick a tower, project it where the player is looking, and spawn it there if they press F. But no matter what what I did, the object always spawned right in the middle of the map. After a night of struggles, we can now place towers. I also wrote some code to upgrade them. This is getting pretty complicated. Now sprinkle on some code to display which tower you're placing, and we have a lovely pile of crap to worry about later. Now the part which I love to put off, multiplayer. Since this game is literally going to be played by thousands of people, I actually have to make a lobby system. It took like three days to get this working, much of which was spent on this damn scroll Bar, and I ended up scrapping it all in the end for a matchmaking system anyway. When the lobby is ready, the players can load in. And this is where the real torture... <coughs> fun begins. We now have to disable all code from the balloon if we are not the balloon and all code for the monkey if we are not the monkey. Let's try it. So one player can control two balloons and the other player controls nothing at all. Pretty much what I expected to be honest. Eventually I got their position syncing. Now we need to sync health, rounds, upgrades, damage, towers, death, leaving. The resulting days were spent slowly getting the game to function with various annoying things happening such as a tower spawning and then immediately getting disabled, or players arbitrarily disappearing out of existence for no conceivable reason. And then when I try to find out why, it never happens again. Let's hope that doesn't come back. I think spawning 5,000 projectiles across the network every minute would be a terrible idea. So I kind of treated the towers like they were in single player. This means for the monkey player, the projectiles might not line up perfectly. So keep this in mind. Currently, the monkey player can place towers anywhere, including on top of buildings. To prevent this, I used the walls blocking the balloon and made sure the tower is inside those before you can place it, like the clever boy I am. I gave the monkey his own boundaries too, so he can't walk off the map now. When the players load in, there will be a 30 second period where the balloon can't move and the monkey player can place towers. But instead of neatly counting down, the timer absolutely spazzed out. Now that all the daunting stuff is done, I thought I'd add some consumables, so I added a whole new section to the shop. The first consumable is the speed boost, which doubles your speed for 3 seconds. The second ability is the regen amp, which multiplies your regeneration by 6 for 3 seconds. The third one is fortification, which works as a temporary shield equal to your balloon's health if you activate it as a balloon, and your MOAB health if you activate it as a MOAB. Now it's the monkey player's turn. I thought I'd also give him some consumables, so I made a pile of road spikes, then made them damage the player. To make it more similar to balloons, I made it deal damage every 0.1 seconds. If you're not careful, it can do 10 damage in one go. I also made monkey glue, which works in a similar way, except it slows the balloon down. While placing the glue, it would only place on its side. So we look at the glue and see it's rotated 90 degrees. Surely just changing this to zero would do the job, right? Wrong. One of the top comments in the last video suggested I add a glue gunner, which is a great idea. I gave the monkey a glue tank and hose, and made a cool glue projectile for him to shoot. The slowness lasts for 3 seconds. The upgraded version has corrosive glue, which also pops you twice per second, making this tower super dangerous, since not only are you slowed, but your regrow pretty much doesn't exist during that period. Now we have to tackle this task list that has been ever growing since I started. I made sure the monkey can't place anything directly on top of the balloon to prevent insta -kill. Pretty cool. I let the AI spawn road spikes and glue in single player. Pretty cool. I made sure the players can't collide with each other. Pretty cool. I discovered you can't connect to multiplayer if you play single player first. Wait, what? Let's test this game out. I win by getting Tootie to zero lives. Tootie wins if he gets to round 20. All right, we in. Oh, uh, we got Monkey Meadow. I kind of want to do some meme strat. I'm going to just try random stuff out. A few moments later. I think there's no... Oh my gosh, I'm at blue already. <laughs> and you're oh red. my gosh, I'm not a... <laughs> oh my gosh, I got destroyed. All right, I need... Bested by bomb shooters, huh? Oh no, you're black now. What? 
<laughs> I, I am. Yes, sir. Uh, yep. It'd be interesting if you were a purple balloon, if you were like became immune to like magic, so you couldn't like plasma ah. monkey couldn't hit you or something. Oh, that, that would be a great counter because plasma monkey is so strong right now. <laughs> plasma monkey is yoked. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it. I got the regen amp now. I'm so tanky. Okay, let's see how you deal with this. There oh, we go. I think if I. Oh, yikes! <laughs> oh, I forgot. The glue gunner has like corrosive glue, so it really does well against regrow. No, sir. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Oh, oh gosh. Oh my god. What? <gasps> No, it got me! Oh, it got That's you. crazy! Normally, I feel like going for the Moabs to play, but I, I don't even know. All right, plasma monkey time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can pretty much buy a super monkey every round now if I want to. <laughs> right, let me get some more HP. Whoosh! Whoosh! Oh my god. That's so good. All right, I'm not losing on my own channel. <laughs> might be able to get through here. I might be able to pull it off here. No! No! Uh-oh. No, can I get through? Oh, 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 no, no, please! Oh! <gasps> That was so okay. close. Right, this is my last stand. Wait, I used my regen on accident right at the start. Oh no. And you've got one life. <laughs> There's so many things out there. There is a wall of ice waiting for you. Okay. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Alrighty, let's go speed boost. No! Yes. <laughs> yes. Good game, man. Good game. Good game, man. Good game. Multiplayer servers are normally pretty expensive, but Tutti has very kindly offered to pay for them so everyone can play the game. The link is in the description. And subscribe. Or else.